Hey guys, Gameboy3800 once again back playing more of the forest hard mode. We're gonna continue where we left off, and I believe we're gonna start looking for the story items or the items that will complete the story. Meaning, we need the rebreather, we need the key card, we need the climbing axe, and. Uh, I would love to get the katana as well. Which means we're going to start caving this episode. I know where a few of those items are, but not all of them. So we're going to begin today. grab some of this food so that we can have some sort of food source while we are out adventuring. So, the rebreather should be the easiest one to get. There's not too many things down here in the way of too much danger. It's just a few cannibals, but that's it. And it's really close by. And we also get the flashlight in the same cave. Yeah, there's nothing like playing a survival horror game in the middle of the night, right? See if you can hear them already. I was about to say they should be shouldn't be able to get up here, but then that guy just runs up like it's nothing, so Yep. can see that. Why wouldn't they let me light it before? Got him. Run into him. No, come on. That one should take him out. If it doesn't, I will be surprised. Wow, they are resilient to fire, and these guys are being really annoying. Ah, missed that one. Stay right there. What? No, that's stupid. It clearly hit him. Why didn't it do anything? I'm not going to be able to get a good shot on these guys anytime. Ah. Come on. 
Come on. I'm gonna wish all my fire arrows on two weaklings. Oh no! He was just stuck there. Just one hit away from dying, that's stupid. Pro strats, everybody. Pro strats. Golem guys in caves are the most annoying. You want to get a hit on them? They won't let you. the other guy go want to stack the bodies here he is That will be able to get me some bone armor to use later on. I'm going to make a couple more Molotovs. Since throwing... Well, they weren't effective against these guys because they were too fast, but... They should be good in the future. Last episode, we went and found all of the cloth that we'll need, hopefully. There we go, now we have some bits of bone armor that we can put on later. And this cave is chock full of cloth, so that's very good. Why can't I take the lantern? You think that would be a very valuable tool? I guess not to this guy.
I don't think there's anything there actually. Hmm. Let's keep going down deeper, I guess. More cloth. Keep me trying. So let's go to the sinkhole. Oh, what? It's painted blue in the inventory. Why isn't it blue in real life? Uh, it doesn't matter. At least this stick is still blue. Why didn't that one shot him? Didn't hit anything. Oh, he has a crafted item. Wow. Alright, he's dead. I assume this guy will be as well. I don't have any more flares. Let's go and stack the bodies. So that was easy. Didn't lose any health, still have some armor. Could use more armor though, but what are you gonna do?
I shall get some more armor from these guys here. And back up to over half armor, so that's good. Oh, I forgot a body. No. Oh well. Just let him up again, I guess. Not sure if I want to go down here or if I go straight ahead. There's a bit of alcohol here. Some random legs. How much cloth do we have now? 40. 42? 43. Close enough. Even more now. Over here, I believe we find, yes, we find the flashlight, along with some more flares, so that's good. I'm going to add them to the flare gun. There's nothing behind that. And now we go down. Uh, I hate these things. You get stuck on them all the time. Huh. Those stalactites are levitating. Good job, game devs. Down I go. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's nobody down here, so we're good. Found Jesus. And this here's where, where the rebreather is. Or actually, two rebreathers, because there's another one on that guy. So we could go down there with the rebreather and get the rusty axe, but that's not what I'm interested in today. I would like to find the easy way out of here. Because I know that there is a way to get here from the penins peninsula. I mean, if there's not an easy way out, I guess that's fine as well. We killed everyone.
And back out we go. So that was one part of the things required to finish the story. Let's get back home and see what time it is. Aw, that went by fast. How many batteries do we have? I have enough to use this. Were we really down here all day? Well, I guess we did spend at least three or four minutes trying to kill those golem idiots down there. So I know you can't see well, but I'm gonna go. Oh, hey, look, it just became night. Oh my god. So it just became night. You can see the light in the sky over there. That is the early moon. Or very late sun. Something. You can see the new frost effects. And there we go. We came back home right on time. We can just skip night. We got the rebreather. That's part one done. Probably need to restock on fire arrows now. Yeah, those are normal ones. Alright, well that's going to be it for now. If you guys enjoyed me struggling to kill two weak guys and then actually successfully killing some more strong guys, then please go ahead and leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks, Game Boy Out, I will see you in the future.